Check this out. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. I, I don't know if I'm on the right path, but I'm trying to find it. I'm questioning, searching, and then something shifts and and I'm not trying anymore, I'm just doing. And all the pieces start falling into place. It all feels pretty clear in my head. I see these like flashes. I'm not gonna play the music, I'm just gonna play it. Look at this jump. Every last one of these videos are AI. All of this is text to prompt to create videos with audio in it is AI. I think Google is just practically cracking the code, bro. Honestly. This is insane. It's insane what they're able to do with AI now, bro. They now have created it to where they can write, you can write prompts to create videos with realistic audio, and you can do it all with AI. Yo, marketing departments are about to be in chaos right now. Honestly, marketing departments are about to be in chaos right now. They not messing around, bro. I just couldn't believe some of the stuff that they was presenting with this new VO3 and these new releases that they got over here with AI, bro. It's crazy. I was looking at the uh, the keynote. Let me see if I can find the keynote. Over, bro. Over, bro. Here. Whether you're a creator, a musician, or filmmaker, generative media is expanding the boundaries of creativity. By working closely with the artistic community since the very beginning, we continue to build technology that empowers their creative process. For example, we worked with musicians to develop Music AI Sandbox. It's a tool for professionals to explore the possibilities of our generative music model, Lyria, in their work. Let's watch a clip starring the legendary Grammy award-winning singer and composer. Focus on collaboration carries over not just into what we build, but how. Right now, it's not easy for people or organizations oh, to share their personal story. This partnership also helped shape Vio's capabilities to meet the needs of storytellers like Eliza. We built new capabilities for filmmakers. So when you're making a video, it will use ingredients you give it, characters, scenes, or styles, and keep them consistent. Or you can direct Vio, giving it precise camera instructions and have it shoot along a specific path. These capabilities help filmmakers fluidly express their ideas with VO. Let me show y'all some of the videos that they're creating with this stuff. Check this out. This is fine. Ready for me to do a 360 no scope? This new generation is weird. Thank God for playback. I have no this is actual real footage. This is AI generated footage that they are now allowing you for being to create. And it also has voices, too. I don't believe nothing that's on the Internet no more, bro. If you wasn't already on the Internet before 2020, I don't even believe you no more. These are real videos that are created with voice. It's not even just images moving. It's not just pictures. It's videos that's created with voice and AI, bro. 
Mm. This is it. This is it. Robots and this, it's over. No idea what I'm doing. You got a marketing degree, you're done, bro. Look at this nonsense, bro. I hate the rain. The wind moves in weird ways today. How does Tom Cruise do this? <laughs> Look how cinematic we are. Why are you so weird? Here I go to work again. Thank God we aren't real. <laughs> Urge, today just sucks. Uh. No. But tomorrow is a new day. Keep going, we are nearly there. But none of this is real? Isn't this just crazy? <laughs> What's crazy? People think we're fake. You have no idea what I'm capable of. This isn't a movie, man. Wonder how long we have to go. This isn't a real plane, Bob. Do we have to take over this place? Nah, not worth it. I have the high ground. Don't try it. You underestimate my power. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, you know where they got that reference from? I, you have the high ground on try it. That's from uh, Star Wars. This is crazy, bro. This is insane, bro. Honestly, it's over. I just think that it's over. When I seen this starting to hit social media and I seen the announcement of this with, with or from Google and I see this race and it's like an arms race. I also seen Sam Altman, which is the CEO of OpenAI. And he was saying that robots is the next pr frontier, like robots are going to be the next thing to take over. And the way that he was talking, it was just like. You need some Pepto Bismol. The way that it was, uh, the way that it was talking, it was just like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think that I think that my generation is the last generation for real life human interaction. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just, it feels weird, man. It just honestly feels weird. You think so, Molly? It feels weird. It feels very, very weird. And so, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. So, I guess we just roll with the punches and we see what happens, right? They got an AI Darth Vader in Fortnite. Daniel S. here. Let me read somebody who's like this. Daniel S. says, you can tell if a person is AI. The key is in the hair. It lacks texture and detail. Anton, your beard has texture and detail. I agree, Daniel, but that's just right now. It's going to keep improving. That's the problem. The problem is that, look, we had just got to the point where they can generate AI images based off a of text to prompt. And using AI to find directions and all of this stuff and learn and say certain things. And then we started looking at AI video probably like six months ago from open AI as far as them creating it. And we seen Coca-Cola try to create an ad with AI that they ran during the Super Bowl. Now they already got audio like the people are standing on boats and talking and all of this stuff. It's going to get way different.